Good evening. I'm John Larson. I'm Professor Emeritus of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the George Washington mm -hmm. University. So, I'm Chiara Scotti. Um, I'm of Italian origins. I moved to the United States uh, um, about 18 years ago to do my PhD and um, sort of never left. I was on duty for a routine overnight obstetric shift and one of my patients came in in early labor. At six centimeters, the epidural was placed and then she was not fully comfortable and a bolus was requested. At the time of the bolus, she had progressed to full dilation. Shortly after the bolus, she began to complain of shortness of breath. Uh, all that I remember was that like within literally, you know, one minute or even less, um, I started not to feel well and um, and then at some point I just remember uh, not being able to breathe anymore and seeing Dr. Larsen come into the room. I could understand but I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move. Um, I remember Dr. Larsen telling me if you understand uh, squeeze your husband's hand and I was trying but I couldn't do anything and then I recall that they started to intubate me and uh, I would say luckily at that point I passed out <laughs> I had examined her uh, the baby's head was engaged was occiput transverse there was a steady stepwise decrease in the fetal heart rate and there was no recovery over several minutes. We're seated in the standard manner for classical keel and forceps application. The baby did well and the mother rapidly recovered the ability to breathe on her own and to move all four extremities. The physical recovery was actually really easy. Um, I have to say a lot easier than my first delivery. Like The emotional recovery was really, really, really difficult. Um, it took a long time. Um, for example, I started to develop panic attacks whenever I was taking uh, any sort of medication, like even if it was like ibuprofen, you know, I'm just grateful that I'm alive, my daughter is alive, uh, I'm grateful that Dr. Larsen was in the room and that he had, you know, this amazing experience um, because, um, I mean, I'm not sure that many people in the world could have done what he did. profile of these blades, you'll see that they are straight. The words bayonet have often been used to characterize the straightness of these blades. They are made with a sliding lock and with a set of buttons on the handles. The buttons are used for the operator to orient the blades such that the buttons are towards the fetal occiput.
momentum application is performed and then the anterior blade is selected to be applied first. A requirement for placing these forceps is that the pubic arch be wide enough that two fingers can be inserted by the urethra and that there is that amount of room and you'll see the two fingers and the width of the blade are similar so that the anterior blade can be inserted and allowed to advance up into the uterus past the baby's ear to a point where it's occupying the space between the ear and the shoulder. Gently palpating the intact abdomen, you'll feel the tip of the blade. And then with a gentle finger and wrist motion, the blade is turned and it's turned counterclockwise in the instance of left occiput transverse while it is descending. So I'll repeat, the blade is far enough in that the tip can be palpated as there is a spinning motion, the blade falls in place properly by the baby's cheek. In order to do the rotation and delivery, then the blade is turned counterclockwise while it's descending and it slips into place. Then the posterior blade is guided in place. And in both of these instances, the operator's fingertips feel if there is a small flap of cervix remaining, even though the cervix is functionally fully dilated and allows the blade to slide inside the uterus. The blades are then articulated. If there is a need to correct for asyncletism that is done by pulling down till the handles are even. And now you can see that the buttons are on the mother's left side aligned with the left. The turn of the baby to occiput anterior is a simple turn of the wrist. This does not involve a wide sweeping turn. Ha <laughs> <laughs>